Sports with your host, Jay Pops. Guys, breaking news at about 12 noon, and I was dropping my daughter off to work. I mean, man, and I was just on my phone, and I happened to be on Twitter. All I know is that I look up, boom, five-star number one linebacker in the country, Anthony Hill, has just committed to Texas A&M. Huh? This was also what I tried to tell you guys to be patient about. What are we worried about? We're, like, we're worried for what? You didn't know worrying over here. And this is what I've been trying to tell you guys, man. This isn't the same Texas A&M that you guys used to know. I cannot say that enough, okay? The only thing we're looking for is the wins now. All right, the only thing we're looking for is a 10-win season. We're going to get that. We're going to get it this year, matter of fact. But in order to get those type of things in the conference that we're in and on the side of the division that we're in, we have to recruit. You got to recruit, baby. We, we don't slow down. We don't. So you guys have to know this here. Anthony Hill was just the one to kick it off. Guys, hear me out when I say this. We ain't done yet. Not for this weekend. That ain't it. It's way more to come. I can't tell you guys about it. You know, because now some of these things I don't even much know about. Did I know Anthony Hill was going to commit this weekend? No, I did not. I'm going to be honest with you people. I did not. But I told you guys, just be patient. And a lot of us told ourselves anyway, hey, man, the pool party is just going to make a hit. And we were right. Hell, but we were always right about it. So, guys, I'm going to tell you like this here. The next guy that I'm putting my finger on that I believe that will commit, T.J. Shanahan. I believe it will be. That's me. Didn't nobody tell me that, anything. I just, this, this, this is me going off a hunch here. I believe T.J. will be the next one to hit now, this is the question I get from everybody all the time. Man, what goes on at that pool party? I don't know. Those, those are all teenage and uh, some maybe like 20, 21, you know, so far as the veterans and stuff like that. But they're chaperoned by adults, man. What goes on? I, I have no clue. But it is a family environment, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure a couple of those guys bring their girlfriends with them and stuff like that. But it's a family environment, all right? And what happens with a family environment? Well, all families come together. You know, this, this is the whole purpose of a barbecue. Okay? So, if you got, okay, look, I'll tell you like this. If you guys are from families that actually get out there and barbecue and have the whole barbecue party and stuff like that, and maybe like a pool party at home, you guys know exactly what those parties are about. Okay? House parties are the best parties. All right? These type of parties that are, I believe, are at the freshman dorms. Uh, this is at the freshman athletic dorms. I mean, man, from, from, what, from what I've heard, from what I've heard, those dorms aren't just anybody dorms. You hear what I'm saying? This is the whole purpose of Jumbo Fisher coming out and telling you about the facilities and what we got going on and stuff like that, man. Now, with Anthony Hill... I believe Anthony Hill been had that announcement in his back pocket for a very long time. He just wanted to wait to pool boy. All right. So once again, man, look, I tell you this here. And I put this out there on Twitter. People love bashing me on Twitter. Uh, people love just like I have one long corn frame because those are guys that are very upset. And look, man, just, just to make this clear here, you guys need to hear this already. Texas a and isn't our, I mean, Texas isn't our competition so far as recruiting, man. I'm sorry. Don't don't let a Longhorn fan even tell you that. They aren't the competition. It's a reason to why Nick Saban came out and said what he said. It's competition now. Do you think if we would have still had Kevin Sumlin, we would have been competing at this? I mean, uh, we would have been recruiting at this level? No, we wouldn't have. He knew from the moment Jimbo Fisher came over there and he got the number four class in his second year, that that was going to be an issue. Man, that's going to be an issue. 
The moment Jumbo Fisher got the number one class, that was the biggest issue in Nick Saban's tenure that I've ever heard him speak about publicly. And he put Texas a and name in his mouth. All right? That's what... No, I'm sorry. That's who our competition is. It's Alabama, which is number one because we were in the SEC West. Number two in the SEC West, that's our competition. That's going to continue to look at how the way we recruit. LSU. Man, it like, hey, hey, look, man. It doesn't get any bigger than that. We're just talking about recruiting right now. All right? Because a lot of, a lot of these people still think that we're going to be on the outside of the top 25 when it's all said and done. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys this right now. We will have the number four class in the nation when we're done recruiting. You can go ahead and bookmark this. We will have the number four class in the nation when we're done recruiting. Regardless of who got the number, number one player in the country. All right? We will have, once again, the number four recruiting class for 2023 when it's all said and done. This isn't it. We aren't done. We just need an Anthony Hill to get the party started. Anthony Hill committed right when the pool party was about to kick off. That's what changed the game for Texas A&M. Understand this too. Jimbo Fisher is the one that started this pool party and barbecue. So I'm going to rephrase that. Jimbo Fisher and his staff, which is Terry Price, were the ones that said, hey, man, let's have a barbecue slash pool party. He, they got with the other coaches. I like that too. Let's do it. How are we going to do it? You know who set it off and made it more interesting than what it was supposed to be? Bobby Taylor. That's the one until this day will forever be remembered for what he did so far as leading up to the pool party and even after the pool party. That's why he's going to be a legend regardless if he goes to the NFL or not. Okay, in which in my mind, he will go to the NFL. All right, but that's who got the party started, man. Other guys who got that party started with him, Donovan Green. Other guys with him, Ish Harris. All right, those three guys in particular were the guys to get this whole flame started last year. And now that it's gotten to a different year, Bobby Taylor ain't doing nothing but pushing other guys to get the flame started and pick up where he left off at. You guys need to understand this about Jonte Cook when he committed to Texas. I know what the young man did and I give him all credit for it. He seen how the way they recruited last year and he seen how the way they were recruiting him. He took that same mentality, switched it around to his own version and he's doing what he has to do. I commend him for that. All right, but understand that, that can, there can only be one recruit at the end of the day. That's Bob Taylor and Jimbo Fish. They're going to get it. Why do you think Zachariah Branch was over here? Huh? Why do you think Evan Stewart came? Huh? Why do you think Chris Marshall was already locked in? Huh? Bobby Taylor was the one that was pushing those guys to come in and compete with them as a wide receiver. Understand why I'm going here with this. These are this, this was a defensive back here. He's pushing other elite wide receivers to come and challenge him so they can make each other better because what's the goal at the end of the day? A national title. What, what does it take to get a national title? Once again, people, because I'm very concerned that a lot of people don't know this. What does it take to get a national title and, and even a Super Bowl? Competition on both sides of the ball. What does that mean when you have elite competition on both sides of the ball? They make everybody better around them. Everybody is happy. Why? Because, bro, what? Bro, I, you told me you have. No, man, you gonna get it. That's all right. Hey, I got, you got your side of the field. I got mine. They're all going back to the quarterback as wide receivers. Bro, just, hey, that, that's all right. Calm down. Throw it to me next time. No, no, no. I got you, bro. If he not open, look to me. I'm going to go back to what Chris Marshall told y'all last year. They can't cover both of us. 
You, you, did, did you think he was lying about that? Did you think he was lying about that? Huh? No, he was not. Okay? So, once again, y'all have to notice. Y'all have to notice, man. So, I see a couple of comments in here. Everybody talking about laugh out loud at everyone thinking we were going to finish recruiting at number 60. Yeah. Laugh out loud. I say that, I say that all throughout the month when I seen everybody dropping their, dropping their commits, dropping their commits. I say, man, hold on, guys. Be patient. I know a lot of you guys see a lot of big names coming off the board. A lot of them that we wanted. Malik Muhammad was one of them. He was one of them. I say that again. Malik Muhammad was one of them. I wanted him. All right? I did want him. The guy that may be next as well is Dalton Brooks. You want to know why? Because Dalton Brooks don't talk, baby. He don't say nothing. A lot of you guys don't even must know who that is. But for the ones that do follow recruiting tough, just like I do, you guys know exactly who that is. All right, so I said this here a minute ago. I said, man, you have to sit back and ask yourself, is Jumbo Fisher doing this playing a waiting game for a reason? And I looked, I looked, I looked. I said, oh, man, I think he is. You know, and now I'm looking on Twitter right here, and a lot of these guys – are saying this here, especially shout out to Aggie Report and shout out to Aggies today. Okay? Shout out to those guys, man. But I'm seeing that somebody put it some put something in here in the little gift saying, and another one. <laughs> I remember when I told you guys this just be patient. Let those guys have fun. But you know what? Now it's our turn. And when our turn came around, we weren't just going to have, oh, anybody committing. Oh, no. We weren't going to have that. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We were going to get guys that was on everybody's radar and everybody's big boy. But guess what? We was going to snatch it. Come on, man. Why do you think that there was so many programs around the country that had kids on their campus that had AM offers, trying to get them to hurry up and commit before this very special weekend went down. I can't name how many visitors we didn't got down there. I think it's about 30 to maybe 35 kids down there right now. And they all know that all of them can't sign. You know, but then again, I'm gonna tell you this here that's gonna knock you upside the head. All of those 30 to 35 guys down there. They aren't all 2023. They aren't all 2023. You know what those guys are? They're split. 2023, 2024, 2025. Hell, I didn't even hear the 2026 players down there. 2026? No, man, that's jump over from way down. All right? You want to know why? Because I take you back to when Jumbo signed this contract. It was for 10 years. What, the 70 or uh, whatever million dollars? I done forgot the number already. It was a 10-year contract. Now you look up all around the country, everybody got 10-year contracts. The reason why Jimbo signed that was for security and for patience for what was about to take place. Why, why, why won't you guys connect the dots? It's, it's, it's a lot of people, and don't get me wrong, they're always from other fan bases. They laugh at me when I say that. You know, and they, oh man, oh man, come on, man, you don't know what you're talking about, man, you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I am a guy that know what I'm talking about. All right? So, once again, be patient. It's more to come. And I'm on my, uh, and I'm on my Twitter account right now on a computer just trying to see what's happening here because... I have a lot of notifications nowadays, and I knew that I was going to have a lot of notifications came this weekend, all right? And, hell, I haven't even much put my phone down yet, and it needs charging at the moment. But it, it was going to happen sooner or later, all right? It was going to happen sooner or later, man. Um, so 2024, five-star defensive tackle, Mario Franklin, out of Mississippi, is headed to Texas a and today. 
I just told you guys once again, those aren't the only ones. All right? Uh, you Don't be surprised if you see a guy commit that's not even much a part of the 2023 class. We're talking about a class of 2024 because if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be somebody in there that may just go ahead and get the 2024 cycle started. All right? Because uh, I don't believe we have a commit in there right now. The only one that I know of that we got is a 2025 uh, commit. Um, and that's, uh, that's, uh, Winston, uh, Winston Watkins. All right. So he's another one that's up there real close to Jumbo Fisher. He's going to take visits guys. Y'all, y'all got to understand that the, these are kids at the end of the day. They're going to take visits. He's also recruiting other kids to come and join them in that particular class. From what I'm looking at right now, Anthony Hill is already recruiting others to join him at this pool party. That's what I'm telling That was the biggest domino of them all. Why? Because he was the priority. This is the missing puzzle to the defense. You want to see the defense be elite? That was step one last year. Step two is this year. And to be quite honest with you, I do think we can actually win a national title this year, but everything has to fall in play. Once again, I do think we can win a natty this year. But if everything doesn't fall in play this year so far, it's all, oh, man, we slipped up on that one game. So now we're 11-1, 10-2. That's okay. Now we're going to 2023. Anthony Hill is the missing piece. He's going to start as a freshman. I'm going to say this once again. He's going to start as a freshman. Okay? But you know who else he has behind him? Damian Sam. That's the other four-star crew. All right? So they can tag each other. Bro, I'm tired. Man, you got to get this one this time. All right, man, I got you. That's what it was about. Y'all better go and watch that stacked on Tex Ags. Dion Bouye, and I'm going to tell you something else too. Dion Bouye is recruiting the state of Georgia. Don't sleep on him. You don't think, don't, don't sleep on Dion. Don't sleep on Dion Bouye. He's out there recruiting the state of Georgia, man. He's recruiting hard the state of Georgia. All right. How do you think Marquise Gilbert came? It's so many names in that class, y'all have forgot who all the people was. I'm going to say that once again. There's so many names that was a part of the number one class last year. Y'all have forgot who everybody was. I'm going to bring it up again. Marquise Gilbert. They both came from Georgia, man. He's recruiting Georgia. Everybody has their set marker of who they're recruiting. So Dion Bouye is recruiting Georgia. Shamar Stewart, he's recruiting Miami. All right, I'm going to run down the list here. Jacoby Matthews and Jordan Gilbert for that thing. They're recruiting Louisiana. We got the, wait, what? No, man, we, this, this, this isn't it. This isn't it. So I'm going to tell you guys something else. The battle Aggie Syndrome, and I'm going to end it here because I'm going to have to come back sooner or later and make another podcast. So you guys better be ready for today. I told y'all to be up. Even my wife is ready. I already told her the deal. I'm going to be recording a lot today. All right? Until we go out later on the night, I believe. But anywho, the batter Aggie, Aggie Central. To all of my Aggie family that's watching out there, to the Aggie Network that's watching out there, I just want to tell you guys this. And this is from past generations on back. We haven't seen a national title. I know we haven't. We haven't seen the 10 and 11 wins. I know we haven't. But I'm going to tell you like this here. Start getting rid of the battered Aggie syndrome now. All right? I'm going to say it once again. Start getting rid of the battered Aggie syndrome now. We don't go by that anymore. It ain't going to be like how it used to be. This is our house, and we're going to protect that house. Kyle Field will be the hardest environment going forward in college football for a very long time until we say something about it. We don't care who we playing out there. The entire SEC has to come through Kyle Field. And even other opponents, Miami has to come through that this year. We're going to protect our house. Make no mistake about it, Mississippi State will be the last game that we lose at Kyle Field for a very long time. They got us that time. They won't get us next time. This our house going forward. 
We're not stopping. We don't use all gas, no brakes. That ain't our slow. But we use this here. Get them. We going to respect that. Going forward, we're going to respect that just like we've been doing, but we're going to respect it a little bit more. Let me remove my microphone. We're going to respect it a little bit more because that's the statement. We worldwide. We'll cross the nation now. Warner Blue Blood, we know that. But we're going to turn into one sooner or later. We're here to stay. And it starts with recruiting. Recruiting turns into winning. We got the head coach now. We got our national championship coach. Now we got to go and win one with him. Once again, batter Aggie syndrome, that doesn't belong here at Texas AM anymore. We don't, we, we, we don't claim that. We claim get Aggie Pride. We, we, we aren't going anywhere. You see that post in the back? Get him. I wasn't lying about that. Giggle. You see that post over there, Johnny? All right? You see that post over there, Garrett? We aren't done yet. That's why the D-Lyman's come here. We aren't done yet. Anthony Hicks, we coming to get you. Make no mistake about it. We're coming to get you. Have fun to know you. We're coming to get you. Once again, no, David Hicks. I'm sorry. David Hicks, we're coming to get you. Anthony Hill is the only one that, that's going to be committing today. Tried to tell you. That's a wrap, baby. Let's get on out of here. We got a couple of things to do. Stay tuned. Giggle.